here at the friendly confines Wrigley Field interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago Cubs all right we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set starting on the mound in this one Justin Steele what should we keep an eye on here power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them. now it's the veteran outfielder George Springer and here it comes. And a swing and a miss there. Oh and one. First pitch. Seven o'clock. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Out to short. Swanson fires over to first. That takes care of Springer. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One out, base is empty. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch, top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's a swing and a miss. All ones the count. Two outs. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Bellinger settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. We're midway in inning number one. No score. Back here at the friendly confines and on the mound in this one Kevin Gossman what do we have on him four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Nico Horner, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. And a good eye there. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. That nope. one missed. Seiya Suzuki in the on-deck circle. And a full pitch walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And up next for Chicago.
And fouled off. Corner on at first. Nobody out. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab. Batting third. No left fielder. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, oh, get him boy, moving off play. the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh, and that one missing low. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Oh, That's outside. Down. And now three and one. Cody Bellinger. Waits on deck. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here comes Cody Bellinger. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Left-hand batter waits. Base hit center field. Horner flies around third. That crosses the winning run, and they will walk it off. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. 1-0 the final. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.